All right, it is time to find out who our mystery host is. So the very first clue is that he worked at Local 5 many years ago and in the sports department. Our second clue is that he and I worked together on a local morning radio show. And the third clue is that he is super committed to local veterans. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, it is John Mino. Hello, old Good. friend. Nice to see you. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we were even just getting distracted this morning when we were meeting, talking about the show, trying to catch up. It's a two-hour show, right? <laughs> <laughs> it could be like With everything you've got going today. on here today, plus you and I gab it, I don't know if we're going to get it all in. But thank you for I'm having like, me on the day of the old fashions, the what, the pecans, the cookies, the, music, the whole thing. I know, exactly. Perfect. They I know, want me to sing? Fun. Do you think they want me to sing? Um, remember when I used to sing a little bit on the I, radio? I, I do together? remember that. Uh, let's stick to humming in the background today. Okay, that's good, too. Or maybe some... Well, so, dancing yeah. moves? Happy something? hands. Okay. I can be that guy. Yes, okay. we can do that. Cool. All right, but let's talk about, okay, so if you've moved to the area recently or whatever, or you were living under a rock back in the 90s and you can't remember who Mino is. I lived under a rock one time <laughs> in between jobs. All right, he worked here. You yes. had You worked here in the sports department. And I was just thinking, this is like the exact same spot where our set was oh, for Sunday really? Night Show. There and it is. Look and at, look at Mark Chamura. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You So you hosted, uh, yes. you know, like a, a lot sports of the Sports Extra. Shows. Yeah, we had Mark Chamura, Leroy Butler. Yurko, boy, we had a bevy of different guys we used to do shows with, and oh, that was a far. fun era. Yeah, this would have been 1997. Okay. okay, and it's the year they went to the Super Bowl again and got beat by the Broncos. But it was just, it was a ball. You know, the was, guys were so much more accessible back then, and everything. It was just, yeah, so much fun. Times. And me and Shui used to be able to just kind of screw around in the show <laughs> and, and do whatever. Well, speaking of blast. screwing around, let's yes. listen to one part of the show we just had to play today. Okay. Hi everybody, my name is Dominic Mino. Next week me and my buddy Dyson are going to host this show. Merry Christmas, go Pack! The following week we had Mark's son on there and we, did, we had both of oh, them. Can I, yes, that was a little Dom. But look at, let's look at Dom today because let's, let's so introduce little. people to your family. Yes. There is Dom and your beautiful wife Julie. Yep, and Dom just finished a semester in Prague. Uh -huh. Goes to St. Norbert and studied in Prague and loved it. Okay. He's got that little Euro haircut. Yeah, now. he does. Yeah. All right, and then you have, um, tell us a little bit about some of your other family members. You yep. have a couple of daughters. Yep, well, that's my daughter, Lindsay, right in the middle, and Dom. And Lindsay's a professional girl out in New York City okay. and loving life. And my little granddaughter, Letty. Okay, we have another photo yet. Yep, and, and that's is... my daughter, Amber, and Aww. Delphi, and Letty, and her husband, BJ. And they're wonderful people living in Madison, having a great time. We had them all over for Christmas last night. I know, cool. I'm like, I is... can't believe you're here. I know, this is my daughter, Amber's company. Um, Lottie Designs, those are all made at a little village in Mexico they go to, and uh -huh. a portion of all the proceeds for their bags and shoes goes to help education for young girls across Wonderful. the world. Even worked with that girl from Afghanistan. Oh, wow. Who was trying really big to get things going with that, yeah. so really proud of her what she's trying to do. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. All right, fair trade company. Yes. All right, and you have a new career, too. Tell us yes. what you're up yes, to. Yes, I do. I'm actually in real estate and having a ball, having an absolute ball with it. It's one of those things, it's like, you know, well, it's still talking for a living in a certain way. Okay. So having a really good time with it, so if you want to buy a house or sell a house, well, let me know. we got to leave that, that up right. there so yeah, that we exactly. can. Exactly. All show. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just have your phone number on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, and we did a TV time. show here with the company on Channel 5 this fall. We did, Hands on yeah. Wisconsin, Let's which was a, a lot of fun. Uh, do we have that? It's called Hands on, Hands on Wisconsin. Hands on Had Wisconsin. Had a great time with okay. it. You know, it's like an HGTV show. I was kind of like Chip Gaines. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you being that character. I was kind of like that guy. Did you fall down a lot? A lot. And you're just goofy a lot of things. and I things fell on your head. You know and... me. And I didn't try that. It just happened. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of Chip Gaines, I mean, you have, um, you have a... a hobby yeah. that is a lot like chips and it's barnwood yes. i mean you're using barnwood to do things i like to tear down old barns and just build stuff these are for some of the stores i've built that's for the great moonshine shop down in uh, oh, yeah. nina love that place <laughs> so i build stuff like that for different companies and, and even for people for gifts and things and there's no money in it or anything like, like that. Do you have like an Etsy page just, or anything? Or I, don't, I don't really just you know. Just word of mouth. There's one I built for Title Town Cheese to host his helmets oh, on. Yeah. And so it's just fun. I love the fact that, you know, old barns like that have a new life. I, that's okay. what I like doing. Yeah. A little Americana. The, uh, the other cool thing about you, John, is that from day one, and wow, that's weird I called you John, because I've right? always called you Mino. Mino. Um, you are you're super committed to your work with veterans. Well, yeah, these are my Vietnam vet friends on, on Veterans Day, just a great bunch of guys. And, uh, 
I just try to do whatever I can to help out the vets. We just did a big thing for the veterans' home over in King. Uh -huh. But there's also a group with some of these guys that's called Fourth Ua, and okay. uh, it's basically to help prevent veteran suicides. Yeah. So that's a big, it's a great organization, wonderful organization. It's something that's really, really important these days because that's a real tragedy oh, that's it going is. on across it is. the country and even around here. Yeah, absolutely. So, and you yeah. are just, you'll do anything for these guys, I know. Try to. They're just great, <laughs> just great guys, great women. They're just, just love them. Yeah.